Hello everybody, this is Mr. Nardelli. Today I'm going to be talking to you about adding rational expressions. Now to start off with, if we are adding rational expressions where the denominators are the same, just add the numerators and put that over the denominator, combine like terms, factor anything, and then factor out again. For example, if I have this equation, x squared plus 3x minus 2 over, you can see what I have, my denominators are like so I'm going to just put the denominator on the bottom and put everything up here. Whatever I see on the left plus whatever I see on the right. Now I'm going to combine my like terms so x squared just comes down. 3x plus 4x gives me 7x and um, minus 2 plus 12 gives me plus 10. Now I'm going to factor. This should be up there a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm going to factor this x squared plus 7x plus 10 to give me x plus 5 over times x plus 2 over x plus 5 over x minus 2. So I didn't factor that one out yet. Now what I'm going to do, let me pull up a line. I'm going to cross out, factor out x plus 5 and x plus 5. Let me factor that one out again. So they factor out, and I'm left with just x plus 2 over x minus 2. That's my answer. I put parentheses around it, but if you don't have parentheses, that's okay. So that's my answer. Okay, now the next one. If the denominators are different, that's when we start getting into some things here. Um, I'm going to start off with 5x over 4x squared plus 3 over 14x. Now, first thing is just find the common denominator with a coefficient, the way you normally did with fractions. So I'm going to look at 4 and 14. My common denominator is 28. Now, when I'm looking at my variables, I always find the common denominator with a larger exponent. So I've got x squared and x, so my common denominator is x squared. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, to find my uh, new numerator, I do 4 into 28 goes 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35. That part you can get pretty good. Now, x squared into x squared goes 1 time. 1 times x gives me x. So you can see I've got, when I'm comparing these two, I have x over x squared, I have x over x squared. So the difference between the bottom and the top are the same for both of these fractions. Now when I'm going to this fraction, 14 and 28 goes 2 times, 2 times 3 is 6, but x into x squared goes x to the 1 time. x to the 1 time times no x's give me, gives me x over here. Now I'm going to do a little comparison. x to the 1 times x, or excuse me, x to the 1 minus x to the 0 gives me x to the 1 x to the 2 minus x to the 1 gives me x to the 1. So they're comparable. Now what I'm going to do is squish them together. 35x plus 6x over 28x. Now both of these terms are alike so I can combine them. Give me 41x over 28x squared. Now I'm going to simplify and I can't simplify with 41 and 28 but I can with the x to the 1 and x to the 2. I can simplify and divide out an x to the 1 on each of them giving me just 41 over 28x, and that is my answer. Okay, now let's go to one that has binomials. So I have 3 over x minus 8 plus 7 over x plus 3. I put them in parentheses, but they might not show up in parentheses. So I'm looking at these, and both of them are different, so what I'm going to have to do is just multiply them to get my common denominator. But I'm going to keep them in my separated form like this. Now what I do to get this new numerator, I say x minus 8 goes into x plus 3x plus 8. Oops, sorry about that. That should be minus. Let me do a quick change of So it goes into it x plus 3 times. x plus 3 times 3 is 3x plus 3. Okay, that's a lot of talking. So let's look at it this way. In here, I have an x plus 3, and I don't have it over there. 
So I bring it up. So if I see, it's basically x plus 3, x plus 3. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. What I don't see, what I do see here and don't see here is x minus 8. So I'm going to put that x minus 8 up here, quick changing, and I have 7 times it. Now I'm going to combine them, and I have 3 times x plus 3 plus 7 times x minus 8. Now I'll distribute 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 3 is 9, 7 times x is 7x, 7 times minus 8 is minus 56. Sorry about that. Then I have 3x plus 7 is 10x, and let me do this quick change here. Fif minus 56 plus 9, let me get that right, minus 56 plus 9 gives me minus 47. Minus 47. I think I had the correct answer before. Okay. Now, with 10x minus 47, I would try to factor something out, which I can't do. So, there's my answer. Okay, when subtracting, you'll only be doing subtracting with like denominators. But, this is very important. Notice I have the same denominator, so I'm just going to put everything on the numerator, but I subtract everything here. So I need to put parentheses around it if there's more than one term. So I get 4x plus 5 minus 3x plus 2. Now when I drop my parentheses, don't forget to change the sign of everything on the inside. Now what I will do is combine those like terms. 4x minus 3x gives me x. 5 minus 2 gives me 3. And what I'm able to do is cancel out the x plus 3, x plus 3 in this case, and I get 1 over x plus 3. If you have any questions, email me at nardelli.efsc at gmail.com. Thanks.